things in your life need to change for the better, this is going to be for you. Here's a couple of quick testimonies. Somebody, their marriage was coming apart. Things have changed for the better. Same person, finances, health, mental health, changed for the better. I want to pray for those things to change in your life. And we've seen all kinds of results like this, like I've showed you. And I want to tell you why I can pray that confidently and help you to pray these things more confidently. So if you're one of my followers, you've probably heard me talk about life and how life is simple. It means life, all of life, not just one little area that Jesus came to bring life. I want to look at another word that gets used a lot that people don't understand the full definition, the full effect of what it's saying in the Bible. And yet it's very simple as well. And that's saved. It means to be made whole, to heal, to be rescued, protected. <laughs> it's kind of everything like life. Here in Mark, this word is used when a man is asking Jesus to come heal his daughter. It's the same word that's then used down here in John three seventeen when it says that Jesus has came to save the world. But we, we changed that. We changed the, the wording there. So you could say that the guy was asking Jesus to come make his daughter whole, right? Protect her from this disease, this sickness. Same thing down here, to protect the world from, from disease, from sickness. But we know it's, it's spirit, soul, and body. It's not just one thing. It's protection. It's life. Here, a form of this word is used to say he will recover from his sickness, in this one, Jesus asked, will I ask the Father to save me from this hour or to rescue me, to deliver me, to protect me from this hour? And again, Jesus came to save the world, to deliver it, to protect it. It's, it's from everything. Uh, sin and death permeated everything. Everything needs to be redeemed, delivered, protected spirit, soul, and body. Jesus tells his disciples when they go into a town, heal the sick who are there. <laughs> that's all of them. It's not some of them. That's all of them. Heal the sick who are there and say to them, what is, what is this healing a sign of? It's a sign the kingdom, the dominion, the will of God has come near to you. It affects everything. So here we see Paul praying for everything, that everything be preserved, blameless, spirit, soul, and body, okay? That carries a lot of weight there. That has a lot of depth of meaning. For how long? Until you run the course or until God calls you home? No, he's praying that you'll be preserved blameless into the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, that's playing the long game. So look at this, by praying through the lives and everything, and, and she's praying. I'm not, I'm not taking credit for it or anything like that, but I'm just saying the Lord Jesus gets the credit miraculously, without effort, things have gotten better on their own in their marriage. They're talking about, they were talking about getting a divorce. Financial situation, it's improving. Health is improving. Mental health is improving. Anger has disappeared. Gentleness is coming in. What are those? Those are fruits of the Spirit. The Lord is manifesting Himself across all of their life. So if you're needing restoration, deliverance, rescue, saving, wholeness in any area of your life, your marriage, your relationships, your, your physical body, your emotional well-being, even your spiritual well-being, let me pray for you. God knows. Please don't think that you have to have a, uh, I have to say your name and it's the power of my words and your name and, and all of that. No, it's the power of God. It's the power of the Holy Spirit, the one who knows all. He knows your situation. He knows who's watching this right now. Don't worry about that. Just, just relax. Um, if you find it hard to believe this, just, I, I tell people this, just give it a shot. Let me believe for you. By all means, believe. But if you can't, let me believe for you. So if you can, get somewhere quiet, still, have a moment with the Lord. Have a moment to experience the restoration, the deliverance of the Lord for whatever situation you're needing, okay? So Father, right now, in Jesus' name, I thank you for your grace and your presence and your love being upon this person that's watching or the 
or the loved one or the situation they're standing in for right now in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for your wholeness of salvation, spirit, soul, and body, that you came to redeem it all, Lord, in Jesus' name. That, yes, you came to save us for your kingdom, but it's so much more than that. So, Father, we just thank you for life coming into their body, salvation being saved and restored from the effects of sin on their body, the effects of this world, the effects of the evil one in Jesus' name. Everything not of God leave their body, their mind, their heart, their emotions, their marriage, their home. If it's a demon, whatever it is, demons, debt, <laughs> divorce, disease, anything not of God, we command you to leave now, to leave this person right now, to leave this situation. Thank you that the kingdom of God comes in full dominion right now upon this person, upon this family, this household, this situation. Everything not of God up and out in Jesus' name. Everything, everything physical, emotional, spiritual, that's not from the King of Kings, that's not flowing from the river of life, leave now in Jesus' name. Go from them. Any wicked spirit, go to the place that is prepared for you and await the judgment and never bother anybody else again in Jesus' name. Everything not of God, go. Body be healed in Jesus' name. Life, youth into your body in Jesus' name. Not only be better, feel better, look better <laughs> in Jesus' name. Be made whole in Jesus' name. Whatever, whatever needs to happen to their body to be made whole, be made whole. Be made the way you planned it. Perfection, Lord, in Jesus' name. In their mind, perfection. In their heart, perfection. In their finances, perfection. The kingdom of God being fully manifest right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. You may be feeling something going on, okay? If you're feeling something going on, the Lord's speaking to you right now. Maybe you're seeing a vision or something like that. Please just stay still, stay relaxed until that's over. Enjoy that interaction with the Lord, okay? All right, and for the people that aren't feeling that, and the people that when you get through feeling that, check see if things are better and then give it a few hours a few days see what happens see what unfolds over the next few days i know everything can't be uh, known right now if things are fixed but check what you can right now in jesus name so father i thank you for everything that you're doing right now in this situation in jesus name please remember to uh, leave these testimonies like this in the comments even, hey, if you just felt a little warmth or something, it lets people know God is out there working. So there's been so many people that's taught that basically, in so many words, God couldn't care less about you, <laughs> okay? But He's a good Father. He cares about you, all right? He cares about the little things. He really does. He's a lot better Father than your earthly Father, okay? <laughs> so, Father, we just thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you are. Thank you for everything that you're being in this life, in this person's life. And thank you for being, bringing revelation and grace to their life in Jesus name. Revelation of Jesus Christ, the love of the father, the kingdom of God on this person in Jesus name. God bless you.